you're watching Dragon Ball Fighters this weekend at Combo Breaker while also playing the game, things are going to look a little different for you. That's because on May 22nd, a new patch was announced to be going into effect the next day, May 23rd, and this is not a small patch. Depending on who you ask, this is either much needed help for the lower tiers of characters to get up to the level of fusions in Lab Code 21, or turning Dragon Ball Fighters into a party game. Either way, there are a lot of changes. It seems like at least half the characters got something that was changed. But Combo Breaker starts today, and three days days is not enough time for players to adjust to a new patch before a major tournament, especially for traveling players who might have one to two days maximum to play on the new patch. For this reason, Combo Breaker made the difficult decision to run the tournament on the previous patch. This is kind of a no-win situation for TOs, and it's something that unfortunately feels like a half-assed attempt by Bandai Namco to get something pushed out while they stall for time with rollback. Players are going to be understandably frustrated that it's now impossible to practice on live games on the current patch, but the competitive integrity of the tournament was going to be significantly damaged if sweeping changes were added to the game that players couldn't practice on. Traveling internationally only to lose in pools to something that literally was not possible to do a week ago is a worst case scenario for international players and something that needed to be avoided at all costs. <gasps> Maggie, call Aquaman! It's really just another in a long line of disappointments for DBFZ stretching back nearly a year now to EVO last year when rollback was finally announced to be coming to the game. Finally, the delay-based netcode that plagued the online of the game would be removed for something that made it much more playable and easier to enjoy. And then months went by with little to no communication. No rollback has been added to the game. There haven't even been beta tests yet. The ones that were planned ended up getting canceled. This wouldn't be as big of an issue if it happened a year ago, but the game is running out of time. A very significant portion of the player base is going to be jumping ship in two weeks for the release of Street Fighter 6. And my personal guess is that they are not coming back for beta tests, possibly for actual rollback, but even then, they've done irreparable damage to the player base of the game by not having this ready before the next big game comes out. DBFC have really missed their window to do this, in my opinion. The game is now five years old, and while it still has a pretty healthy competitive scene and the player base for the game is actually not bad, it has been on a steady decline. The current player base is enough to keep the game alive, but with DLC having finished and new games just on the horizon, it's hard to see how DBFC survives the rest of the year with enough players to keep it moving forward. Look, this game had an amazing run and it deserves a lot of credit for bringing in players across many different titles and bringing insane hype to tournaments for the last half decade. While it's looking like curtains for the game, ultimately it's been a resounding success and I'm really excited to see what Bandai Namco has next in store for the franchise. Now me personally, I'm out here hoping for One Piece fighters, but let me know in the comments which anime needs to be giving the fighters treatment next and adapted into a 2D fighting game. If you like this video, drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more content. I'll catch you guys next time.